Do be careful with your filters, you don't want to drop them in the water. Oops. Hello, uh, today I'm at Salford Keys in Manchester. Um, wonderful urban environment. I wanted to show you just what is available here. It's a, it's a personal favourite of mine. I've shot here many times personally, um, but I also bring my workshop participants here because of the sheer variety of shots you can get. Um, it's home to the Lowry, BBC Media Centre, uh, Coronation Street over there, the Imperial War Museum North, oh, and over there, Manchester United Football Ground. Um, we're going to do a variety of shots today, uh, starting with some wide angle urban views, um, but with the modern architecture here, we've also got strong lines and shape and colour, all which make great shots, and um, we can do some also, uh, also do some abstracts, plus we've got the, uh, the water for added reflection. It's a clear blue sky, sun's out, so it should be a good day. So the first shot I'm going to do this morning is of the main lift bridge that crosses over the canal here. It's a wonderful shape. Um, got some really nice reflections um, in the water below. Uh, nice clear blue sky, sun's over to the left, beautiful light, couldn't ask for more. So I'm going to walk around the bridge and do some shots. I'm starting here obviously with the reflections in the water. I'm then going to move up and do some shots from on the bridge and then look out for some abstracts and alternative views and try and just get as many shots of this bridge in this one little session. I've now come to almost the other side of the bridge and I'm looking back to where we were shooting before. We've now got the Lowry in the background adding further interest to the shot. We're still using the girders in the shot as the wide angle, uh, on the wide angle lens and using the sweep of them to draw the eye into the picture. So I've come to this spot looking across to the Lowry, across the canal. Uh, it's a view which has many possibilities. We're first going to do a wider shot. I'm shooting at about 50 millimetres. Uh, I'm going to do the wider view with the water reflection. And then I'm going to zoom in to pick out some of the smaller abstract views with using the lines, the colours and the shapes of the buildings across there uh, to make multiple versions of this view um, without even moving the tripod from one spot. I've now come across to the BBC's Media City studios on the other side of the canal. Um, we've got a lovely stretch of water here to reflect the buildings on the opposite bank. Unfortunately, the wind keeps picking up and we're losing those reflections with where the water ripples. So we're going to remedy that by using a filter to prolong the exposure and hopefully remove those ripples. Um, on this occasion, it's going to be the Lee Big Stopper. The big stopper. Which is 10 stops of filtration, and therefore 10 extra stops of exposure. And that should allow a longer exposure and to remove those ripples and bring those reflections back. 
So the filter is in place now in the filter holder on the front of the lens. I place the filter in the first slot nearest the front of the uh, lens element, front element. Um, this avoids any light leaks uh, during this longer exposure and also the gasket built into the filter helps eliminate this too. I've also added a 0.6 ND grad, uh, a soft version. This is because I want to balance this brighter sky with the reflection that we're getting from the water. Uh, the soft grad is used because we've got some buildings that are poking into the, above the horizon into the sky. And if we used a hard grad, we'd probably get a hard line definition across the middle of the buildings which wouldn't look very natural. So that's why we use the soft grad with its smoother uh, graduation line. I'm using the little exposure guide that Lee filters provide with their big stopper filter to enable me to work out the exposure time with the filter in place. So before I put the filter in place on, in front of the lens I was getting an initial reading of around 180th of a second. So if I look at the chart this tells me that my exposure time with the filter in place will be around 13 seconds. So I'm going to put it into manual mode and I'm going to shoot at 13 seconds using the timer and the cable release to avoid me knocking the camera over this long exposure and then see what result we get. outside the Imperial War Museum and I've come to shoot Media City again but from a slightly different angle so we now have the bridge and the apartment building uh, within our composition. I want to compose my shot um, with a foreground element so I've come up onto the steps here and I'm going to shoot with the railings in the foreground leading the eye into the shot but also going to include the red life boy which is going to add nice bit of colour and impact to the shot. I'm going to compose it carefully though however because I need to get enough space above the top of the railings here with the underside of the bridge. If I crouch down too low the two are going to encroach on each other and we're going to lose that sense of depth in the picture. So I've come up slightly high on the steps here so that I've got a band of water in between the top of the railings and the bottom of the bridge. now to one of the side basins of the canal uh, to shoot this office building in the distance. 
Um, these two views, one from this bridge, one from the one in front, are two forms of composition where symmetry is the key. Over here we've got the houses and apartments on either side which are the symmetry in the picture and then these help draw the eye into the picture along with the side of the canal into a vanishing point in the distance where the building is. Moving to the bridge in front, we capture symmetry now with water. The reflection mirrors the building above and the symmetry is horizontal across the frame. 